So tomorrow, Arsenal play for at the Craven Cottage. It should be an exciting game. Uh, we know we played on Thursday, so hopefully we will recover. We have the energy to go full throttle, to go with our pressing game against Fulham. Fulham are no mocks. They've been very impressive this season. Uh, if you look at the table, let's check where they are on the table real quick. Table. They are eight on the table. They play 26 games, 11 wins, six draws and nine losses. Uh, so they are no mocks. They have an outside chance or, or European qualification. So I'm sure they had enough rest time to prepare their tactics to play against Arsenal. So we have to take them very, very seriously. Now, secondly, in the past few games, Arsenal have been considering set piece, set piece goals and we've been leaking goals. We need to fix up. But on the flip side, all our clean sheet, most of them, I would say 70% of our clean sheet have come from away games. So that gives us a bit of a lift. But we need to fix up. Even Ateta actually reiterated this uh, in the European, uh, European League game against Sporting Lisbon. That we've been very sloppy defensively. We need to tighten up. Fortunately, the, uh, the first team has playing this match at the Kevin uh, Cottage. I expect Saliba and Gabriel to marshal the centre of the defence. Hopefully, no injuries uh, to them. So, I expect Zinchenko, who had the very social game against Sporting Lisbon to, to retain his spot. Uh, ben White on, on the, as a right back. I expect... Uh, Pate to come in for Jorginho. Jorginho had, had an average game against Sporting Lisbon. Uh, Pate, or the guy will have to pass a late fitness test. We know he was ill for the game uh, on Thursday, so he didn't play. That, he had to pass a late fitness test. I expect Xhaka to feature on the on the left wing. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to be Smithro starting or Rhys Nelson. So that one, I'm not sure because we know we do not have a number nine. Trossard is out. And Keita is out. Jesus, this game will be too early for Jesus to come in. So I expect him to go with Martinelli as his number nine. And I expect either one of Smithro or Chris Nelson to marshal uh, the left wing. On the right, we know Saka is going to marshal the right. Let's call Saka out again, like I called him out in, my, in the other video. He has been dropping his thinkers. He needs to fix up. I'm not saying he's a terrible player. We know Saka has carried the team for a long time, even at the dark days when we were in the dungeon. Saka has always showed up and showed up for us. But, come on, even though he has a lot of credit in the bank, he needs to fix up. And I said, there is no, there is no completion for him at the moment. So, it might be a bit like Atletico, but he needs to fix up. I, I'm not saying Saka is that player that will become complacent, but his game for the last few games has not been up. So, hopefully, this Fulham game will push him up and needs to fix up. So, Fulham, yeah, look at Fulham. Mitrovic has been of their star or key player this season, but he has Come off the ball for the last few games. Now the scoring. Hopefully, we do not help him re rekindle his scoring touch. We should not allow or uh, help players of the opposition to rekindle their scoring touch or their form back. Uh, Manuel Solomon on the left wing has been terrific. He has scored five goals out of five games in the last five games. We need to watch out. Hopefully, Ben White can do a job on him. He's a decent player from Shakhtar on loan. Very, very good player. Uh, Right-footed, likes to cut in and score, but plays on left wing. We need to match that. Uh, luckily, on the other side of the midfield, Paulino, one of the addictions, addic I would say one of the... What would the right word? Let me let me know properly. One of their key midfielders, as I've been a, a key midfielder of Fulham, he has been a standard midfielder in the Premier League. Uh, a lot of people are surprised playing for... With all due respect to Fulham, he, he could do better. So, he's suspended for this game. So, that gives us a plus in the midfield. But even though he was there, I expect Pate, Odega, if pass fit, and Xhaka to actually dominate the Fulham midfield, regardless of the fact that 70% uh, of, the, of, of the team played on Thursday. So, it, it will be a, a tough match at Kevin Cottage. I'm not taking it likely. We saw what happened to Liverpool when they were overconfident, uh, when they went to the Vitality Stadium to play against Baltimore. We saw what happened. They lost. So, we need to be on our A game. We need to be on our A game. No Concession, concession of sloppy goals, not taking our eye off the ball. We need to make sure we're not playing. If you look at the last five games of both teams, let's check the form of both teams uh, real quick. Give me a minute. In the last five games, that's not one four, which is fantastic. Fulham have won two out of the last five games. Uh, they've lost one and drawn two. That is not terrible. That's very average for Fulham. That is very near excellent for us now. Let's make it five. Uh, let's make it five winning. Uh, five winning games. What am I saying? Why am I twisting my tongue? Let's win the, the let's win against Fulham and make it five in a row. We have to do it. We have to do it. We know Manchester City 
are chasing us. They are behind us and holding on to our quarters. We need to make sure we beat Fulham. And we know Fulham will not be uh, an easy game. Even though history suggests that we always go there and get the results. This is different. This is the business end of the season. We need to make sure we do not take things for granted. I'm confident uh, if our players take it very seriously, we should be able to go there and get the three points. Uh, if you ask me to predict and stick on my neck, I'll stick. To, I'll say you have to win 2-0. Yeah, uh, I know it will be a very tight 2-0 win for us. My, that's my prediction. Let me know your prediction in the comment section. What do you think will be the outcome of the game? Like I said, if you go there, do not concede sloppy goals. Let's concentrate totally. I believe we'll win the game regardless of Strasser is out, Nketiah is out, Jesus is, is a 50-50. We don't know whether he's going to be included in the match squad or not. Even though he's back in full training, in contact training, we don't know. We should be able to win without those players, in my opinion. So let me know in the comment section, like I said, your predictions and your predicted starting 11. So, like the video, very, very important for the good of the channel and the algorithm. Please do not forget to do so. If you like my content and you subscribe, make sure you subscribe, make sure you stick a like on the video, uh, make sure the notification bell is turned on, and I'll see you guys on the next one.